Hi, we are Livia and Stanislav, a young couple passionate about nature, regenerative agriculture and tiny homes. A few years ago, we decided to change the direction in our wonder lives and go for a different lifestyle, where we can be more connected to nature and be self-sufficient. To achieve our goals, we are now traveling from Germany, where we currently live, to Sibiu, Romania. This is the first episode in our quest to document the building process and decision-making for our future container house. As we are moving closer to Sibiu, we decided to stop in Timisoara to check a few containers that were listed online for sale. Join us in this adventure. Hi, everybody. Uh, we are checking today some containers for our future house and farm. And there are a bunch of them here. Unfortunately, the guy has a lot of work to do, so we'll have to see here on ourselves. And these are the containers. We'll choose one, and then we'll see when we can uh, when we can do a lot of uh, investigation for them. So let's see. This one here, which is in a fairly good condition. These are the numbers. We'll have a look at them later. This is the second one. Actually, this one looks a little bit better. And then we have three. No, four actually, four blue ones. And we're back again. Okay. Apparently we are in a, in, a, in a wrong place. So the containers we just saw, they were actually the containers they are, um, they are using for shipment. So at the moment we are in another place. It's a big factory here uh, with uh, parts for cars. And these are the containers which we need to check it out. So. Yeah, so these are the, the containers we can actually buy, I think. We'll have a look at them thoroughly and then we'll decide if we buy them or not. This looks promising. This looks promising, yeah. Olivia got already inside. She tried to open the container. She's already inside. Look at her going inside the container. First one. Let's hope no one will close the door on us. Here is a little bit of rust outside and inside. I think we need to change these parts, like to fix this uh, this part here, or we can ask them to fix it. No, it's just surface um, uh, surface rust because these containers are cut and steel. That means that they rust only in outside to protect the inside layer. Livia, the roof is quite good. There is only one leak there, I think. They repaired it. And I think it looks good. So we had a look at all containers. There are not that many. The guy had a lot of them in the ad, but I think many months or years the pictures some I think the pictures were too old however he ships a lot of them but the only one is the, the one there which is kind of the one we like the blue one it has a little bit of uh, rust in the inside and there is a panel gap need to be replaced in there if they do that for us and if we negotiate properly I think we can do it but we'll see uh, we talk to the guy so basically, the, the container which we just saw, it's um, 3,500 euros. Expensive. Um, a bit too expensive for us, plus 500 more euros to transport it on the location, uh, on the farm. And we are not yet sure, however, um, this is the first, uh, the first container we saw. This is our route, 
coming from Germany, checking a few cities while we arrive at Sibiu and um, we'll just definitely have a look, maybe we can find more around and if not we'll go to Bucharest, there, there are a lot of them being sold and at the same time um, I think we can see two or three more before making a decision even because 3,000 something, four, almost 4,000 euros, it's a lot of money and it's, good, it's better to see a few of them um, just to make sure that, uh, that we got the best deal, I guess. Several days later. <laughs> we got our shipping container. And now we can start building the house. Our yes, home. we can start the bigger project. And uh, we're looking forward to it. We are still cannot believe it that the container sits on the blocks. It was a, it was a nice... Uh, <laughs> Nice adventure in the morning to, to put it here. Uh, we had a lot of rain on this spot, and uh, yeah, basically you'll see it in a, in the following uh, minutes. What exactly happened here when we put it? We made a time lapse. How the yeah, container got here. And, yeah. Very fun to watch it. Watch it uh, being placed blocks and it will stay here for a few months until we work on it and then we'll move it to, uh, to our land which is right okay. over there near to the forest somewhere on that side and yeah so at the moment we are sitting here this is the view the mountains in the background yeah, awesome day it was a nice uh, synchronization and we got a little, a we got lucky. Collaborated today in order to, yeah. Yeah, we have, uh, we, this possible. <laughs> we have met these awesome people here. They have a business there and this is their land. And uh, they kindly agreed for us to put the container here for a few months until we work on it. So we can put it on our land um, in the autumn. And yeah, awesome people here in Rashinar near Sibiu. What do we do now? Mm, we start building. <laughs> After seeing the containers in Timisoara, we were feeling a bit demotivated. The next day, we contacted logistic companies in Romania to see if they had any containers available. We ended up speaking with a company in Bucharest, which is about 300 kilometers away from Sibiu. Luckily, they had a container available that was coming from Hamburg loaded with goods and would be emptied before reaching Sibiu. Our rule was to see the container before buying, however, in this case, we decided to purchase it directly as the company needed to know where to direct the driver. From the pictures we saw, it was in a good condition. The cost of the container was 3,500 euros with taxes included, and for this price we did not have to spend more on delivery as it was on the road anyway. We only had to rent the cranes that helped us set up the container on the temporary spot. This added another 200 euros to the total cost.
Now that we have the container, we are really happy. The joy and enthusiasm when we opened the doors for the first time was really fulfilling for us. In the next episodes, we will grind, paint, cut, grind again, weld, assemble and do a lot of shopping for materials and tools. Definitely we had many challenges and decisions to make. We are not by any means builders or professional construction workers. Both of us work in IT services and we enjoy creating things and learning something new. We are documenting this journey to share it with our friends, family and everyone who wants to be inspired in building a tiny home. We invite you to follow us on this build. See you next time.